Welcome to Kyoto, today let's explore the famous and beautiful Higashiyama district, let's check out the famous Hokanji temple, check out the traditional streets, get familiar with the culture and see what Kyoto is all about. Join me on this beautiful adventure of Japan. Waking up to a beautiful sunny day, let's head in the direction of the Kyoto station to catch a bus to the Higashiyama district. The tower in the distance is the famous Kyoto Tower weighing an astonishing 800 tons. Composed all from steel and at a height of 131 meters or 430 feet, it is the tallest structure in Kyoto. The Kyoto Tower stands on top of a 9-story building and was completed in 1964. Everybody's at work, so much. <laughs> There's nobody here. So many right less now. people. Yesterday was busy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really busy yesterday. Now everybody's at work because it's not a holiday in Japan today. So it's holiday for us, and we're in Kyoto, but all the Japanese people are at work. Look at the tower, Kyoto Tower. From Kyoto city center you can either take a bus or a metro to the Higashiyama district which takes about half an hour. We decided to bus. We're about to witness something amazing. Finally, we arrived to the Yasakadori Street with the Hokanji Temple in the distance. Just like the picture. Uh huh. Along this street, you can find many different restaurants and various shops. Made in Japan. Oh, it's cool. Shoes made in Japan. Higashiyama District is one of the oldest and best preserved historic districts in Kyoto today. Located on the east side of Kyoto, you will find historic streets, traditional old houses, and beautiful historic temples and shrines. Amazing. <laughs> wow. Please do not anything, it says. <laughs> In front is the Yasaka Pagoda or the Hokanji Temple. Note that it's not the Yasaka Shrine. I'll talk more about it later in the video. In Higashiyama district, oftentimes you will see men tagging rickshaw or the two-wheeled carts along the streets. Originating in the 19th century Asia, these human-powered vehicles have either been discouraged or outlawed in many countries due to the workers' health concerns. This is the Kongoji Yasaka Koshin Do Temple. It is dedicated to the shaman Kongo, aka the Koshin son who is the guardian warrior, and to the three wise monkeys representing a Japanese folk faith known as the Koshin faith. In Japan, monkeys are considered kind spirits that protect people and their homes from evil spirits. The three famous monkeys, not hearing, not seeing, not talking, are a part of this Koshin faith. 
At this Kokojin temple you will see many colored shaped spherical talismans hanging all around. They represent Kukurizaru or monkeys with their hands and feet tied to their backs, symbolizing self-control and triumph over desires. If you sacrifice one of your desires by putting it inside one of these Kukurizaru, the caution will not only help you forget about that desire, but also grant you a wish. This is because desires prevent wishes from coming alive, hence the need to sacrifice it. In that moment when you feel that your wish is near, you must put your hands together and recite the Buddhist Sutra for the Kukurizaru and Koshin San to hear you and help you with it. The Buddhist Sutra is as follows. Ondeiba Yakisa Banta Banta Kaka Kaka Sawaka The Yasaka Pagoda, the Hokanji Temple or the Tower of Yasaka which describe the same structure is located here in the Higashiyama district and it is the icon of the city. It is a beautiful 5-story Buddhist pagoda that was built in the 15th century and stands at 46 meters or 151 feet high. During its history, the pagoda was reconstructed due to leaning, it was then burned down by the enemies and then reconstructed again to be later destroyed in fire. The pagoda you see standing today was rebuilt in the year of 1440 by the Shogun Yoshinori Ashikaga.
Interestingly enough, Yasaka Pagoda is built around a wooden shaft running the entire height of Pagoda. This shaft actually swings like a pendulum which helps the Pagoda maintain balance during the earthquakes. I like Kyoto. Kyoto is so cool. Yeah, they said get here by night because it's gonna be busy. But everybody's working today, so it's not so busy. These are the Maneki Neck of the Japanese figurine cats with their right paws raised up is said to bring good luck to the owner. They are often referred to as the good luck cats. Next, let's explore the famous Kiyomizu Dera Temple. We will walk through this amazing territory, look at some spectacular views and find out more about different structures within the temple. We will also explore a little more of the Higashiyama district. Only on the epic travel adventures. And if you want to see more of my awesome videos, then make sure to follow, subscribe, like and of course hit that bell down below so that you do not miss any of my new content. See you in my next video.